Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 30 for Gym Management System in Django. And in this video, we are mainly going to perform the trainer salary section. Okay, we will manage the trainer salary. So for this, the first task that we will do, we will modify the trainer model. Okay, so we will we will add the one more field that monthly salary amount. Okay, and the second thing we will create a trainer salary model, and we will uh, define the relationship between the trainer salary and the trainer model. Okay, and we will add another uh, we will add additional fields for the trainer salary. Okay, so let's start with the let's start to modify this uh, trainer model. Okay, so I'll go to the gym management system main model so here we are okay so the first thing what we will do here so this is our trainer model trainer salary model salary model class trainer salary Actually, we are doing the second thing, but we need to first perform the this thing, modify the trainer model. So where it is, let's see. Let's search trainer. Here is the trainer model, and in this we need to define the month salary. Okay, so this will be let's say simple salary because this will be. Uh, integer field mon model start integer field okay and by default I will add let's say null equal to true because we need to as I have uh, explained to you before that if we are modifying the existing model and we have added the data then we need to add default value okay so we have added the salary now we will Migrate this py manage.py make migrations. Okay, so it is saying that you try non non nullable field. Actually, I have added this in teacher. Actually, this should be not null because we can't define null in the integer field. So just simply we will run this. Okay, so you're trying to add non nullable field in this entry with our default. Let's add the default 0. Okay, now let's try this. We can't add null, we can't with the add without null, and default is working now. py manage.py migrate. Okay. So let's go to the let's go to the model uh, where it is. Okay, actually you, I will also show I will also show the salary. Okay, so in the trainer I'll also show the salary. Full name mobile is active. Let's say salary. Okay, and uh, yeah okay fine so let's refresh the page so this is salary now let's modify this and I'll add salary like 5000 okay and see this okay now so the salary is this now we will manage the we will manage the amounts like if admin has been added some amount to the trainer then we how we will manage that okay so let's create another model for this so i will add salary model okay and in this the first thing we will be trained so model start foreign key and this will be trainer okay and on delete we will copy this and the another thing is that uh, amount date equal to amount date equal to model start date field okay and 
if any remarks if you if admin want to add any remarks then he can add text field okay and uh, this is the amount date uh, okay what amount the what amount added to the so this will be integer field so what amount added to the trainer so i think this should be after the amount okay and uh, we will uh, we will definitely return something so we will return salary self dot trainer dot full name okay full name okay so now let's migrate this so it is what we are doing wrong what we are doing wrong here so it is saying that line number two okay this should be model start model okay no issues let's migrate this Okay, now let's run the server minus dot py run the server. Okay, now we will go to the admin. Here is the admin, and we will add this to the admin. Okay, so we will add trainer salary admin. This will be here, and here we will add salary and we fields are fields are the we can say list display in in the list display we will say trainer okay and in the amount okay and amount date okay so with this way we can manage the trainer salary that how much amount had been given and what are the things okay so now run server refresh the page so here we have our trainer now let's go to the trainer salaries and we will define the verbose name so here so i will define simply the verbose name is trainer salary trainer salary okay and refresh the page so here we have a it is saying yeah fine so let's add we will trainer amount is let's say 5000 and today date and remarks is this is this is optional okay so but if you do if you not add remarks then this will show error so let's make this blend true okay so that we can manage the things so i'll say simply blank equal to true and we need to define in our migration also so make migration and we will simply add here migrate okay around the server okay fine so when we will add another another salary then this will not show the this will not show the static sign okay so this is the thing so with this way we can manage the salary okay so this is the important part for the trainer because when we create the trainer dashboard so the in the trainer dashboard from the front end in the trainer dashboard trainer can see the transactions okay or you can simply say he can see that uh, that how, what he received okay in which month what date okay so these things okay so now in the user panel we need to create the messaging system okay in the notification system we have created with the jquery ajax now in for the messaging we will use django channels or you can say web sockets 
okay so the next part is our for the web sockets we will create the uh, we will create video for the web socket and uh, we will learn that how we can implement that so that we can uh, we can complete the uh, user panel then we will complete the trainer panel and we will see that what things are pending then we will complete that okay so uh, i hope you will like this video okay and uh, you have learned lots of things from this video okay and uh, i suppose you are following this series and if not then please check this uh, series this is a nice series if you are learning django and uh, uh, if you have not subscribed this channel then please subscribe okay and please like the videos if you enjoying the videos and please like okay and add your thoughts about the videos anything about the improvement suggestion anything you can add the comment okay so thanks for watching the video thank you so much